In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use OneNote for Windows 10 application for teaching mathematics to students in particular from grade 7 to 10. And I am mentioning these students because these are the math students who need to clear their mathematical concepts and they need to understand various steps of solving math problems. And I'm going to show you how OneNote for Windows 10 application can help you as a math teacher not only to take lectures but also to empower your students so that they should be able to learn mathematics at their own. I have made a separate video about OneNote for Windows 10 where I have shown you what is the hierarchy of this application. In your OneNote account, you have notebooks. In notebooks, you can create groups. In groups, you can create sections, pages, and subpages. But this is not what I am going to explain again. And I promised in that video that I will be making a separate video for teaching mathematics using OneNote. And this is that video. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools for teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button below this video and the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. So let me create some space so you can reduce the size of these columns, your notebooks and all these things. Or you can click on this hide navigation button and you will get maximum space when you are explaining mathematics to your students. We will start from the very beginning and let's say you are teaching math to your primary school students. On this page, if I click anywhere and let's say I start typing something 2 plus 5 equals and then I press space bar, the answer will be automatically written there. And not only these plus and minus, you can perform some other operations as well. For example, and let me increase the width of this a little bit. If I want to find out the square root of 169, let's say, I type SQRT and within the parenthesis 169, then equal sign and then space bar. Similarly, for example, I want to find out sine of 45 degree equals space bar. Let's say I want to make the radiance of 45 degree. So 45 degree is 0.78 radians. And now I'm going to connect my Wacom tablet, which is a low price tablet. And I want to write using the stylus. And I want to show you some more features. So I have connected my tablet and I have explained this tablet in many other videos which you can watch. I will put a link here and there is also an affiliate link in the description if you want to buy the tablet. So I connected my tablet to USB and now I want to write using the stylus. So I select this red color pen and I try to write an equation with my stylus this time equals 26 minus. So I just want to make this a little bit more complex to show you something. And now I can select any of these tools, object selection tool or this lasso tool. So I click on that and then I select my equation just like that. And then I click on math. And now as you can see that math is trying to capture my equation and it has captured correctly. And sometimes what happens is that if you write 4 and it captures 2, you can fix it by clicking on fix it. And then you click on this 4 and it will show you all the possible options here. And whatever is your intended option, you can select. In my case, this 4 was correct. I select this 4 and I click done. Let's say click on this 2 and it is showing me some possible options. 2 is the correct one. I select this and I click done. Now I will get some options here. Few operations which I can perform. I can solve this for x. I can graph this. So let us see what are these options. So first I draw in 2D. So this is the graph. Of course, it is a straight line and I can insert this graph on page by clicking on insert on page. The graph is inserted here. I can put it there and I can resize it. Similarly, you can draw in 2D and you can place this graph if you want. 
and now the third option is solve for x because this is the linear equation in x you can also find the value of x so you click on solve for x and it will show you what is the value of x x is equal to 8 now if you want your students to learn what are the steps you can click on show steps and then steps for solving linear equation you click on that and then it will show you all these steps there are 10 steps this is how system reached at the solution of this linear equation so this is very good for year 7 to 10 students because they are learning they want to learn each and every step so if you just want to empower them you guide them how to use one note and how they can see all the steps so when they are doing self study they can perform these steps and they can learn so as a teacher it is a good thing to empower your students so that they can self study in an efficient manner so let me close this and i delete all this and this time i want to differentiate and integrate something so i select this pen and with my stylus i type x5 i select this i click on math i click on these options and it will show me differentiate with respect to x i click on that it will give me the differential of this 5x4 you can check the steps as well now you can also integrate this and then you can check the steps these are the steps for integration so you can also perform calculus on one note so this is a very good application where math students can learn how to solve our differentiation or an integration problem so let me close this and I delete this as well and now I have removed my vacuum tablet and this time I am going to show you how to write equations in one note to do that if you click on insert this is the equation tab click on that now if you click on this structures these are all the equation structures available for you just like you might have seen in Microsoft Word how to write math equations and now let us assume that I want to select this fraction like this one and now I type x raised to the power 4 so I type x then shift 6 which is the tilde sign and then 4 and now if I press space it will make it x raised to the power 4 and divided by let's say x raised to the power so x tilde when I put tilde it shows me an arrow then I put the power and then I press either space bar or any of math symbol let's say I press plus and it will insert the exponent then I press 2 and let's say I put equals 25 now if I click on math again I will get few options solve for x if I click on that it will show me the value of x and similarly I can plot this as well so if you don't have any tablet you can also write equation by using this equation tab and you can perform the differentiation or integration as well so based on your equation whether you have written an equation or you have written an expression and the difference between an equation and expression is that equation has this equal sign so let's say I remove this equal sign from here and now I select it again and I click on math and this time when I click on these options you will see that I can differentiate now because now this is not an equation this is a mathematical expression so when this is an expression one node thinks that I might be looking for a differentiation or an integral of this expression so these options change whether you have written an equation or an expression and let's say I click differentiate with respect to x it will give me the differentiation and if I click show steps and then click on step using this it will show me all the steps involved in differentiating this mathematical expression so how cool is this your students will love this if you teach them how to use one note and how they can see all the steps involved in differentiating a mathematical expression now take another example if I click on this matrix and then let's say I select this type of matrix and I want to delete this and I fill some entries let's say 2 minus 5 5 or 6 and I select this I click on this math 
and now see what options I have. I can calculate the determinant, I can invert meaning I can find the inverse of this matrix, I can calculate the trace, I can get the transpose of the matrix, I can get matrix size or I can even reduce this matrix. Let us click on transpose. Now this is the actual matrix and this is the transpose of the matrix and let us calculate the determinant. So determinant of this matrix is 6 multiplied by 2 minus minus 25 which is 37 and as you can see that you have many other options definite integrals, limits, exponents, radicals and exponential functions as well. If you want to use symbols there is also a symbol tab in which you can select many mathematical symbols, some Greek symbols and sometimes you need this plus and minus or less than equals to or greater than equal to. So all these symbols are also available in one note for Windows 10. So this is how you can not only teach but also you can guide your students how to learn calculus, mathematics using one note for Windows 10. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.